Hey Drew James here from LearnGuitarInLondon.com. I hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to be learning 10 easy acoustic campfire sing and strum songs. So these are songs that people will know that if you feel like doing a bit of singing and playing, this is going to be perfect for you. The eight songs are by artists like Passenger, Nirvana, The Beatles, uh, Coldplay, um, what else we got, Bob Marley. We've got basically a lot of artists that you will know. If you're thinking, Drew, this video is really, really long, then just drop down to your favorite songs. The chords that you're gonna need are A, C, D, E, G, A minor, E minor, and F major seven. If you're not sure what those chords are, then don't worry, the chords are gonna be on screen, but I'm also gonna be taking you through how to make each of those chords. Once again, if you already know those chords, then drop ahead further on in the video. Let's get started. Okay, let's check we're on the same page with this. The guitar has six strings. Eddie, eight, dynamite, goodbye, Eddie. Why am I calling them that? Well, that's the names of the notes. I always think it's better to learn the names of the notes because it helps you with theory and it helps you further on down the line when it comes to being a guitarist. So E, A, D, G, B, E, Eddie, eight, dynamite, goodbye, Eddie. Or come up with your own. Leave a comment in the video description. It's hilarious to come up with, hear other people's versions of that. So. We're gonna start with an A chord. I'd like you to take your little finger, put it on the second fret. If you wonder what I'm talking about, this is the first fret, this is the second fret. It's divided with these bits of metal. So put that down, your little finger on the B string, the fifth string down, put your little finger there. Then take your ring finger, put it on the second fret also, on the G string, Eddie, eight, dynamite, good with this one. And finally, middle finger on the D string, on the dynamite. Okay, notice this is like a wedge of fingers. My fingers aren't spread, they're nice and close, they're nice and tucked in. I'm not touching any fret markers. And that is your A chord. You may see A chords played like this or even like this, but I advocate this A chord because it strengthens the fingers that are the weakest. And that is why a lot of people sometimes give up guitar because they don't have the patience for muscles. So if you start an easy chord like A using the weaker fingers, pinky and ring, you're gonna be in good steading. So do A this way. Strum the bottom five strings for A. So don't play the top string. As you can see, there's a chord box on screen. Now a chord box is just a system of showing you how um, chords are written out. You'll see that there's three black dots. They indicate the fingers, middle, ring, and pinky in the second um, box, so that means the second fret. And finally, on one of the lines, you'll see, or on two of the lines, you'll see some zeros. That means that you're strumming those strings without touching anything, so not holding them down. And one of the strings, you'll see a cross, which is the thickest string, which means we're not playing that. So that's a little crash course on reading the chord boxes. So let's have a look at the next chord, which is a C. So with a C, you put your index on the first fret on the B string, you put your middle finger on the second fret on the D string, and you put your ring finger on the third fret on the A string. Now notice with this chord, it's a bit of a stretch. So we're stretching our fingers over three frets. And I do suggest, instead of having your thumb over here, bring it down a little bit, just to make it a little bit easier to bring those fingers onto their tips. And that is your C chord. Strum the bottom five for that. Next, moving on, we'll go to a D chord. So, index finger on the first fret on the G string, middle finger on the second fret on the thinnest string, and ring finger on the third fret on the B string. So that's G string on the second fret, E string on the second fret, and B string on the third fret. Now for this D chord, you'll notice a couple of crosses in the chord box and one zero. So that means you don't strum the top two strings, you just strum the bottom four. That's your D chord, that's what it should sound like. If at any point you're getting any these sort of sounds with chords, push forwards, don't touch the fretboard, and if all else fails, press that little bit harder, just have patience and wait. Sometimes the muscles need to build in your hand. So from D, we're gonna change to E. So you put your index finger on the first fret on the G string, middle finger on the second fret on the A string, and ring finger on the second fret also on the D string. Can you see that my middle and ring are stuck together like this? They're not apart, they're stuck together. So please do the same thing. Strum all six strings. Okay, middle, ring, and index that you can see there on the first fret on the G. So that's your E. Next, after the E, we're gonna have a look at G. So G, take your index finger, put it on the second fret on the A string. Take your middle finger, put it on the third fret on the thickest E string, and ring finger, 
put it on the third fret on the thinnest string and strum all six strings. Okay, that's your G. Let's motor on and move to the A minor. A minor, put your index finger on the first fret on the B string, put your middle finger on the second fret on the D string and your ring finger on the second fret on the G string. There's your A minor. For the A minor, we strum the bottom five. Okay, so index, middle, and ring. Second fret, second fret, first fret. E minor. Take your middle finger, put it on the second fret on the A string, and then take your ring finger, put it on the second fret on the D string. Just those two, nice easy chord. You'll see a lot of zeros in the chord box for this one. Strum all six strings. That's an E minor. And finally, the F major seven. Now, before I play the F major seven, I will say this. You can make, um, you can be brave and do the full bar F. So if you're maybe a bit more intermediate, you could try the F or you could try the F this way, but we're gonna be doing it this way. Index finger on the first fret on the B string, middle finger on the second fret on the G, and ring finger on the third fret on the D. Press down hard and strum the bottom four strings. So that's your F major seven. A bit like C, isn't it? F major seven, C. Quick disclaimer before I start this, these are beginner's versions of the song. So they have been changed and made a little bit easier. So if you start playing them along with the song, then they might not sound exactly 100%. But for singing and playing along, which is the main goal of this, by the way, another disclaimer, you're gonna have to put up with my voice, uh, singing along to help you, uh, these are perfect. So to start with, we're going to be doing Let Her Go by Passenger. The first chord is F major seven. And with every chord that I call out, we're gonna be doing two strums. Okay, so obviously if I call them out twice, four strums. So we're gonna be starting with F major seven, and we're gonna be going, you only need the F major seven, C. Only need the G, A minor, only no F major seven, change to C, then G, and G again. Then that repeats, F major seven, C, da 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 G, G A minor, A minor, F major 7, C, G, G, and you let it go. Now that's how the song finishes, but what actually happens after that, so you can use that for your hopefully rapturous applause from people who are watching you around the campfire. Um, but what you can do next is we do the verses, which starts on an A minor, and it goes D minor, A minor, F major 7, F major, G, G, E minor, E minor, A minor, A minor, F major 7, G, G, G. Then you repeat that. A minor, change F major 7, change to G, G, E minor, E minor, A minor, A minor, F major 7. G again. And then it actually goes around again a further time, which I'm not going to do just for the sake of time. But you can practice doing the verse chords, A minor twice, F major 7, G, E minor, A minor, F major 7, G, and then joining that into the chorus chords. G. Only need the F major 7 and C. Only need G when you're G, A minor. Only know F major 7. Coldplay and Yellow is another great sing and strum song and it only has three chords. So the first chord is an A and I'll show you the rhythm in just a second but it's A Do a quick breakdown on what the rhythm is there. So with my strumming, I'm doing eight down strums for every chord. Listen, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So correction, 16 
but eight is what's known as a bar in music. So we're doing two bars or 16, but don't go counting up to 16. I'd actually prefer you to count it like this. Listen, quick rhythm tip. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and change chord E and three and four and one and two and three and change chord to D. This is your D chord and it was all yellow. Then back to A. You get the idea, right? A, E, and D. All the things that I've done. D. And it was all yellow. A. A. Then into the chorus. So from the chorus, the your skin, your skin and bones, we go to D. Now the D, we're not doing for eight. Your skin. Sorry, we are doing for eight, we're not doing for 16. So just one bar of D. Your skin. Then we go to A. Oh yeah, yeah. Now for the A, we're just doing four. So let's recap on that. So it's D times eight, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and. So for the A, it's what's known as half bar, so just four strums. Then to E for four strums. Skin. So let's put that all together, a little bit slower. Here's your D. Your skin. A. Yeah, your E and bones. D. Turn in. D. A. To something E of O. D. Cause you are. A. You are bleed myself dry. And you hold your D. Drum another. Oh, you I bleed myself dry. Back to the chords. 16 A's. And two and three. Then to E. And two and three. Okay, so on and so forth. So, a quick recap of the structure of that. For the verses, it is A, 16, E, 16, D, 16, and that goes round in a circle twice. For the chorus, it's D, 8, A, 4, E4, and that goes round in a circle three times, finishing on a D. Well, shake it up, baby, now shake it up, baby. Twist and shout, twist and shout. Come on, come on, come on, come on, baby, now. Come on, baby, work it on out, work it on out. Okay, so another great little three chord song, a great song to sing and play, loads of energy in this one. The chords are G. C and D. So work on changing with those chords. Get the hang of your open chords there. Okay, so that's what you're doing. Now let me show you the rhythm. So for the G, you go down, down, up. Down, down, up. For the C, you do the same thing. Down, down, up. So practice going G, C. Repeat that. G, C. Doesn't matter how slow it is, but just practice it. Then when you get to the D that happens after that, you make your D and you strum this rhythm. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. I'll do that round in a circle twice. Play it with me. Three, four. So down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. So that's your D. Now let's put it all together. G, C, D. Here we go. So we go G, C, D. Repeat. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now, obviously, the song is a bit faster than that, but I wanted you to get the hang of that. And by the way, it doesn't change. It's that chord progression throughout the whole song. The only thing that's a bit different is the ah uh, part, which I'll show you in just a second. So back at full speed, doesn't matter which bit of the song you're doing, you're doing this. So there you go. 
go, right? You just do that throughout the whole song. The only thing that's a little bit different with this is when they do the R. Ah. Uh. So what I'm doing is I'm playing a D chord and my rhythm is using down strums and I'm going one and two and three and four and 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 And if you really want to be lifting yourself out of the beginner's groove, then get louder there. Create what's known as dynamic. Get louder into that bit. And then after that, you're just back to shake it up, baby, now the bit you've learned. Baby, twist and shout. Nice and easy. Don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. Yes, it is, Bob. And this one is a, another great sing and play song. Uh, uses just four chords on this. We've got A, D, and E. In fact, just three. Um, but the thing that gets this one and really gets the party started is the rhythm on this. So we're going to be breaking that down into detail. Now, A is your first chord. So what we're going to do is we're going to start straight away putting down the A, and we're going to start this rhythm. So what we need to do with the rhythm is instead of starting on a down strum, I want you to practice going up. So we're going to go up. And then what I want you to do is with this bit of your hand, I just want you to stop the strings. That's called a rest. So what we do for this is we go A rest, A rest, A rest, A rest. So that's and, and three, and four, and. Now did you notice I did four strums, but also four rests. So work on that, work on resting, just bringing your hand down. It makes the guitar sound really percussive and just awesome, basically. So um, we've got A. I don't worry, A. Every little thing D is gonna be alright. A. Singing do. Then you go around in a circle, so stay on A. Worry about a thing. Cause every little thing D is gonna be alright. Okay, my small mistake there, it's eight A's, not four. Um, but not a big deal. So that's your chorus, and then the next bit. Rise up this morning, A. Smile with the rise, in E. Three little A. Perch by my D. Singing A songs of melodies E and true. So, just take you through that order of chords. So it's A, change to E, change to A, change to D, then change to A, change to E, change to D, to A. Mama, take this badge off of me I can't use it anymore So this great song by Bob Dylan and one to get everybody singing along when it comes to the Knock Knock Knocking on Heaven's Door chorus We have um, G, D, A minor and the thing to really sort of understand with this one is once again the rhythm, the beat, the right hand. So we go G for four strums on down strums. One, two, three, four. Then D, one, two, three, four for the same. Okay? So G, mama D, take this badge. Then A minor. R for me. Optional, A minor seven for the other four, but you don't have to do that. So A minor, four, and again. So let's do that again. G, mama, take D, spadge, A minor, A minor. Next bit, G, D again, use it. Then change to C, any more, 
C again. Then we repeat that progression. G. It's getting D to A minor to C. A minor. G. And I feel I'm D on heaven's C. Get louder. Sorry, with this part on door, we go C, D. So we do C for four. One, two, three, four. D for four. Then you start your chorus. So here we go, we've got G. Knock, knock for four, then D. Knocking on heavens for four, then A minor. Do. A minor, repeat that. G, knock, knock, knocking on heavens, then C, Do, then D. So a lot of the time with the chords here, it's just four down strums. G. G. 